A wise man once said that time heals all wounds, but he never specified how long you needed. That's the trouble with wise men. They're never specific enough to be useful. Hello, George! Oh. You're looking worse than me these days, and I'm a skeleton! <sighs> Giorgio, you need to move on. Yes. Maybe six months ago, you killed a man with your driving. And maybe the only person you ever loved left you forever. And yes, you're probably going to freeze to death in these mountains and become Giorgio the Skeleton. <coughs> but you're out of Jeffrey Medicine, Giorgio. I can't stand to see my pal Giorgio so down and unable to get more Jeffrey Medicine. And, um, think of Beth. I bet your number one lady would love to hang out with your number one skeleton. You two were great together. Yeah! Do it for Beth! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! That's the spirit, pal! See? Just like riding a bicycle. We'll have you back on your feet in no time. Step one, get a job. Step two, clean suit. Step three, get back Beth. It'll be great. And after that, we'll find Ronaldo and drink mimosas and reminisce about how you killed. Oh, too soon. Got it. First step is always the hardest. Yeah, we'll work on that whole thing later. For now, go find us some farm work. Do hurry, I'd like my bones back Don't get much call for you city folk over here on Pope Farms, that's for sure. Say, your twirl of mahoven tomfoolery might actually come in handy around these parts. How about you go take in the crops for me? Oh no, I don't go in for modern machinery. You just go out in my fields and do your techno spinnery. I'll radio you if I need anything, okay? Just run over them there crops. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the ticket. Now just do it till you fill up all week. Mm -hmm. 
a good day's work right there. I haven't seen a day like that since 1954. Now you see back then kids knew the value of a good day's work. Nowadays you're more likely to see them lollygagging at the disco techies or lounging around at those godforsaken malls. Well you know I, I don't want to talk your old ear off. You clearly got some place to be. Thanks again. Now, uh, what what'd you say your name was? Giorgio Manos was back. And this time, it was Percy. Bless you, my child. I thought I'd be lost out here forever. Oh, I moved congregations. I'm a countryman now. My audience is awaiting me. Head to the church.
Oh, right. Like you'd bury all the skeletons. Fine, fine, okay, I'll go. See you soon, Giorgio! See you even sooner, priest! <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just going to take a long constitutional. Many thanks to you, I think. <laughs>
Hello there, limousine driver. What a pleasure it is to meet you for the first time. I appear to have lost my important business things. Yes, my important business things are everywhere. They're probably even on the rooftops by now. But I doubt a normal limousine driver like you could get them. Fifteenth okay. time this week. What? You can jump on top of buildings? I am shocked! What a revelation! Okay, 
I've seen enough. I mean, uh, I... secret kid. It's me, your old pal Mickey. I was just testing to make sure it was you. Look kid, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. I've been thinking about it, and you should drive the way you want to drive. There's more to life than revolving. See, I, I saved this from the shop back in the city. Go make a clean start, and, well, don't make the same mistakes I did. Hi. Okay. I have a surprise for both of you. The last few months have been the happiest of my life. Will you marry me? Yes, of course, yes. Okay, so the next surprise. We're getting married now, on our way to our honeymoon, to the airport, Giorgio. What? Uh, okay, let's go, Giorgio. But who's going to marry us? Well, I will, of course. I am the town preacher, after all. Let us proceed. Do you take this kid to be your husband, even if he is lame, or pathetic, or he is a jerk, for the rest of time? I do. It's the same thing, but reverse for this wonderful lady you're about to marry. I do.
pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss upon each other. Oh my, she looks just like you. Wow, we wrapped the whole life milestone thing up nice and smart. Thanks, Giorgio. Let's go to Hawaii to celebrate. Yay! Yay!
Oh, Giorgio. I'm so glad I found you. I've got some serious heat after me. I did a real bad thing, Giorgio. Can you take us somewhere we can lay low for a while? Don't take the main roads. They'll be looking for me. Is there a back road you can take me on? This is the police. Pull over. We just want to ask some questions. Ah, how did they find me? My disguise was foolproof. Get rid of them, Giorgio. Wow, I... Is he gonna be okay? Soon after the accident, the police informed Giorgio Operations, or GIA for short. A squad with one mission to put Giorgio Matos behind bars. It's okay. I heard about Ronaldo. I can totally win. Oh, this place is fantastic, Giorgio. No one will think to look for me at the world-famous Roundabout Falls. Waterfalls are not art. Her? Oh, I saw her on the news too. Were you guys a thing? Well, if I see her at the falls, I'll let you know. Thanks again, Giorgio.
Tom Foolery might actually come in handy around here. How's about you go bring in the crops for me, huh?
there, driver. Could you take me to the roundabout train station, eh? Oh, I'm sorry, eh? I didn't mean to cause a kerfuffle. I'm just trying to get to the train station, eh?
Whoa, I'm still new to this revolving thing. Take it easy, eh? First time in this limousine? What are you getting at, yo hoser? some fast driving and so friendly too oh I've seen her she was the nice young lady at the fair well we had no idea how to get around so she showed us how to get to all the stalls and uh, and she won me this year prize uh, so anyway I uh, mustn't be late for my train now so uh, goodbye What is it, kid? You had a barely passable Canadian passenger drop a clue about Beth's location? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go, Giorgio. Huh, she could be anywhere in the fairground. <laughs> <laughs> 
Try over near the pirate ship. more height. Jump on those carousels. Watch your step, I see something over by the arena. Okay, Manos, nowhere to run. Stop with the spinning and start with the stepping out of the car. Ah, uh, looks like we've got a good old fashioned destruction derby on our hands. Now, kid, listen up. Three against one ain't great odds. I have a plan, though. Just keep them off us as long as you can while I get ready. punch those cars out myself. I didn't become a mechanic just to fix cars, you know? With these Limarama special gloves, I'll be able to hold the police back while you go and find that. Let me out here. You want a piece of me, cops? Let's go! Hey, Cheese Weasel, it's Disco Sylvan. I said I'd be your wingman, and I meant it. That Beth cat you're looking for? She's over by the cable cars. I mean, Disco Sylvan would never ride a cable car, but... Oh, you want directions? Right this way, Giorgio. Jump across the ice. You might be able to head her off.
for this cold shoulder. Okay, Cheese Weasel, this is as far as I can take you. Disco Sylvan don't do heights. These dancey shoes stay firmly on the ground. Oh, yeah. Go chat with the Ranger. I'll be in town with Mrs. Disco Sylvan if you need anything. Go get her, champ. Giorgio couldn't believe Beth was so close. Just one perilous hill stood in the way, writing what had gone wrong. Thank goodness you finally came. I thought the rescue team would never arrive. And you aren't the rescue team. Damn it, Stacy, you're gonna be trapped here. Unless, hey, you wanna do some more work for the Parks Department? Oh, thank you so much. Well, we had a bit of a structural problem with the cable cars. Well, the cable bit, I hear that's kind of important. We need to get to the top and shut off those cable cars. get any credit, of course, but we saved some lives at least. Oh, you mean her? Giorgio knew that this was it. One last ride, and one very special passenger. Watch where you're going. Yeah, I need to head to Roundabout Gorge. <laughs> Giorgio! Sorry, I didn't call. Uh, things just got so, well, you know, with the, with the death and, and the police and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Giorgio. I... I panicked and you disappeared and, well... 
here we are. So, uh, yeah, I was, was going to go to Roundabout Gorge. Do you want to take me? This, but I just can't deal with all this twisting and turning around around everything. Can you just be straight with me? Can we at least start there? Giorgio? Even just for a few seconds? You're doing it! Kinda. Giorgio's struggle, driving straight, felt wrong, awkward, like a really bad $2 glove. gonna do this, then I'm at least riding in the front. Look, Giorgio, I'm sorry. Just, just be you, okay? After all, that's the Giorgio that I fell for. You know, I, I heard that in Tijuana, they have a four-lane roundabout. That sounds like a fun time. Let's go! We've got the police behind us, the border in front of us, and a whole lot of spinning in the way. Let's go, Giorgio! Now I bet you're wondering what happened to everyone after all of that tomfoolery. Well, Jeffrey returned to his home planet. Ronaldo died. I thought we made that pretty clear. There was that explosion and the news. Remember? Mickey survived his altercation with the demolition derby, moved to the UK and became a huge famous mechanic guy. He even started his own band in the late 80s. And Beth and Giorgio, well, that's a tale for another day.
It says here that Tijuana can get up to 120 degrees in September. We should probably get AC installed. Okay, I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. Man, you're no fun. Drive past the big taco? Giorgio, come on. Is a 40 foot taco with a taco restaurant inside? How can we not stop there for a break? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Giorgio. Come on. You think we should change our game to throw the police off our trail? I could be Chana, the vivacious astronaut dancer, and you could be, um, Georgia, my astronaut dancer chauffeur who is secretly a five-star fondue chef. It's a foolproof plan. I found you. Oh, you're never gonna be alone again, eh? Okay. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna get married there, huh? And uh, uh, we're gonna play lots of games, and we're gonna eat lots of maple syrup, and uh, and uh, I don't know where the moose is, but we'll find him too, and we'll have a good old little party with our uh, with our moose friend there, and uh, then we'll have a uh, we'll have a you know we'll move into a nice house, and we'll have some kids, and this is getting weird, isn't it? Because you're not even first of all you're a dog, and that's weird, but you're also an inanimate object, and Biologically, it just can't function that way. So, um, no, it's just awkward then. But, hey, I'm glad you're back. Hey, oh, I love you. I missed you then, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Maple leaf for life.
yeah, I need to head to Roundabout Gorge Giorgio. Sorry, I didn't call. Uh, things just got so well. Yeah. Oh, so you're still spinning. Stop for a second. Giorgio, stop! I thought I would be okay with this, but I just can't deal with all this twisting and turning around, around everything. Can you just be straight with me? Can we at least start there, Giorgio? Even just for a few seconds? <laughs> Giorgio struggled. Driving straight felt wrong, awkward, like a really bad two-dollar glove.
watch your step. <laughs> Pie Town, New Mexico, Georgia. We gotta get a pie. Look, there, look at that pie. It's huge. We need, we need a pie for Pie Town, New Mexico. We need to stop there. We need to stop at Pie Town, for real. I just really like pie. I think we should stop at Pie Town. I think it'll be great. Don't you want some pie? Like, it's the perfect travel food because, like, I can have some right now, and then later, if I want some more pie, there's still more pie because there's only two of us and a whole pie. We can share it. It'll be great. Or you can just get a pie for you and I can get a pie for me and then we have tons of pie we don't have to stop for dinner. We can make it to the border seater. So now that we're on the run, I think that you're gonna have to change the name of your chauffeur service. So I'm thinking like something similar like Giorgio's Turnover. No, no that's stupid. That's stupid. That's a stupid name. Who would call it Turnover? That's a pastry. That's a stupid name made up by an idiot clown baby. found ya. Oh, you're never gonna be alone again, eh? Okay. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna get married there, huh? And, uh, uh, we're gonna play lots of games and we're gonna eat lots of maple syrup and, uh, and, uh, I don't know where the moose is, but we'll find him too and we'll have a good old little party with our, uh, with our moose friend there and, uh, then we'll have a, uh, we'll have a, you know, we'll move into a nice house and we'll have some kids and this is getting weird, isn't it? Because you're not even, first of all, you're a dog and that's weird, but you're also an inanimate object and by a lot